Hi, my name is Eddie Sparks, and today we're going to standardize SEO titles and descriptions. Um, if you know anything about me, I don't like to use Yoast, so I always use CodeBridge. Um, I'm very good, so you should probably learn from that particular situation. Um, so Code has these built-in uh, SEO uh, situations where all you have to do is put the title, uh, keyword, and description. It's self-explanatory, and you don't have to worry about anything. So what I wanted to do is originally when I made this, uh, and my title and keywords look like this, and now I want to make them look like this. So I want every single page that I've made to be looking like this. So instead of SEO, internet marketing, search engine optimization, SEO, internet marketing, now I want it to say SEO and internet marketing and the city name. So um, the reason is, is I, I do one city per state. Uh, I do all the cities page, one city per page per state. So in California, since this is California, um, there's 1188 cities, which I've narrowed down to quite a bit, but I've got tons and tons of pages, uh, 60 pages in WordPress times 20 is about 1200. So there's a couple different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you each way and hold on for the ride. So the easiest way to do this originally, and this is a humongous secret, is to go ahead and grab the pages that you're working on. I'm going to grab 10 of them. Now come on over to this website called Sort My List, right here. You can come over to my to this website called Sort My List, and you can paste it in there. Now it don't look like much, so we're going to go ahead and hit the A to Z button. And I'm not going to go ahead and deal with that. I'm going to hit the Clean button, remove duplicates. Now all the duplicates are removed, so I'm going to get rid of the caca in the beginning, and you can see that and the end and you can see I have two similar lists you can see that I have two similar lists so I'm going to get rid of the first list and then what all I'm interested in this particular situation is the beginning so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste select all and paste and then erase that and hit the replace button and now I have all my city lists that I want to work on today so there's two different ways to do this first way I'm going to do deal with it is in Dreamweaver so I'm going to grab everything after what's going on and I'm going to copy the last letter in the first letter I'm just going to highlight it not copy so I copied all this and I'm highlighting the last letter in the first letter okay so I'm going to go ahead and, and select all and copy and I'm going to paste it down here. Now I'm going to erase those letters, but not the line. And I'm going to erase those letters and not the line. So at the moment, the first thing that's going to happen on this line is not what I want. So I want to move it up here. And then what I want to do at the same time is grab everything else before it. So and it looked like that. So in the beginning, I want this. With a space and at the end i want a space in that and i hit the replace all button everything is pretty much good except for the last line copy and paste and then remove everything that's up here in fact i didn't want this one this is just the example that is one way to do it okay so let's just say you don't have that luxury and all you have is a url list or all you have is a sitemap so let's go ahead and download the sitemap really quick. Uh, if you don't have access to it, the sitemap might be the only thing you got. Most of the time it is um, slash sitemap. So that's where you're at. Do you know what I mean? So if you go sl slash sitemap on your website, you might be able to find this, this particular situation and open it up in Dreamweaver. So either your URL list, which is going to do it right here and sort my list, with the URL list, you can see that these are all the URLs. And um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this part of it and hit replace. Make sure I delete all that. And I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to take this part out, which is just a slash. 
and now I can see that I have words here. Boom and boom. Now, in this case, they're not capitalized, and I want them all capitalized in what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to go over here, titlecase.com. I'm going to hit the convert button, and now they're all capitalized. And then I could do that process again. Now, with your sitemap, it is almost exactly the same, except for it's one or two more steps. So we're going to go ahead and do it with the sitemap. Um, right over here, sort my list. Okay, it all looks gobbledygook, right? I'm going to go ahead and A to Z it. Hit the clean button. Remove duplicates. Okay, now go ahead and take the top off. This says Malibu on it. Does it make a difference? It says Malibu on it. Now that's interesting. Fix that. That says Malibu on it. Yeah, grab the front part. Hit F. I'm sorry. Hit replace. Let's see here. Copy it. Hit replace. Copy the back. Select all. Hit replace. And in this particular case, we ought to do more steps. So that's good for you to learn that it's not instant. Ooh. And I'm going to delete the rest of this. But you can, you can tell that once you get into it, you have to get done with it. So in my case, I like to do it in Dreamweaver faster. But in reality, it is the same thing. And you would come in here. And punch that. Oh, no, that, that didn't work. Undo, come in here, hit the space bar, and copy all of that. Come back up to the top, convert it, and now it's all capitalized. So you could run that way here and the same thing over here if you want, but this is more complicated. So how, how in the world do we do this? So I'm going to do it twice for you. I'm going to I'm going to just go ahead and run it into Excel real quick. But in my case, I use um, I, I use Open Office. So I'm going to paste in what I want here. I'm going to copy all of it. I'm going to delete everything uh, after the space right here. I'm going to type the word keyword just for you. I'm going to paste everything, and I'm going to grab everything underneath here. I'm going to delete the space, and then I'm going to drag it down. So when you grab this, you can just paste it in. Then you would come back over here to Dreamweaver. Or sort my list. Replace that with the space, and it all goes back to normal. There you go. Now, with this particular situation, it's the same. Copy that. Come back into your sheet here. Start a new one. Insert sheet. Go ahead and paste it in grab everything after the first situation. Now in this case we have to leave these the um, the comma in remember to take out all spaces. So this is keyword this is keyword. 
Oops. Grab that. Be in the comment at the end. So once you've got this part going, you could physically grab all of it, drag it down, come back over to your list and sort my and titlecase.com if you want to. Paste it in there. See that didn't work out very well. Sometimes in reality you have to paste it into a text editor first to erase the formatting and then come back in here and paste it and paste over your keywords and then you can grab it and this time we're going to use sort my list this is what it looks like so we know that we have to put that and replace it with one space And now we've got this floating comma for some reason. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to replace that with just the comma. And this looks like two spaces. And we're going to replace that. And there you go. So you got your list here. And you got your list up here. And you grab the first one, and yeah, paste it in there. And you grab the second one. Four still, should not have. And you grab the second one, and you paste it in there. And in my case, I'm putting an and here. So you'll have to do that manually. Now, the, you can possibly do it in, in, in PHP, but I don't recommend it because you really need to spend time doing what you're trying to do. So um, in my opinion, the more time you have, have versions of your pages and you can flush the old versions out, but the newest version in, in Google itself is important. So what I would do in this case is I, I would say, hey, my page changed. I come over here, I go into the search console, which I have somewhere here, go into the search console, and since I got Hermosa up, I would go and inspect any URL and request indexing, which I'm not going to do because I'm, I, I'm fixing it now. So this is the error that occurred. That is how you fix it. It will be fixed. You can only do 11 a day, which means a lot when you have thousands of pages on your website, or in my case, close to a thousand um, between six or seven installs of WordPress, subdomains and everything else. But that is how you fix it. And that is why you listen to my tutorial the entire time. So my name's Eddie Sparks. What we learned today is that there's, there's really cool things that you can do without Dreamweaver in Sort My List. And that will hold it. Um, you can do tons of stuff, phone numbers, everything else. And title case is how I, how I automatically put camel case in um, and, and all, all caps sometimes. Uh, plus, you can, you can hyphen uh, automatically, which you saw you can do that in the sort of my list also. And you can, you can, you can decambalize it, blah, 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 camel case, whatever. As long as you can read the word, it's all good. Now, Dreamweaver itself ha has, a for, has a line break feature. Anything that you highlight will pop up into it. So if I copy and then paste it here, now I can remove the letters involved. And now I know that this is the beginning and this is the end. My name is Eddie Sparks from Hermosa Beach Marketing. We hope that you take the time to, to view our stuff. We just got on uh, the Ariba network within the last year and our corporation status has changed to California. Have a great day. My, uh, I encourage you to be the best you can possibly be. Goodbye.